Holy cow. Hey everyone, welcome back to another video. So today we're over here in Carolina, uh, Puerto Rico, uh, headed over to the El Junque National Rainforest. It's the only rainforest in the United States. Um, we're gonna do some gold panning out there, but I had to stop here at Home Depot and I have to get some buckets and a shovel and stuff. So let's go ahead and do that. Ah, there we go. The 1697 special. That'll have to work. Uno. Dose. That's what I need right there. Nice Jeep. It's a couple miles here. We have 4.4 miles to go till we're at the falls uh, parking lot. And we gotta walk for a little while. And we're gonna see some awesome stuff up here. See the mountains over here. The whole central part of Puerto Rico is mountains. I stopped here to get a geocache, which I already found. It's actually right here. Right there. There was a few lizards here. I missed getting them on the camera. I'm sure we'll find more, but as I was parked uh, right here, I spoke with a, uh, a ranger and I asked him which way to Lamina Falls. That was the main focus of this trip. Oh, cool, I could actually see the ocean from here. Right over there. But yeah, I asked him where Lamina Falls was and he said it's closed because there's a hurricane coming. So that kind of changes the plans quite a bit. Uh, there's still a lot of rivers. Pretty much every river here has gold in it. I just have to find one. I'm allowed to prospect on national forest land, so uh, I do have my shovel, I have my buckets and everything. I'm still determined we're gonna find some gold today. I had to stop and show this to everybody. I've never seen bamboo like this before. I am actually gonna go to the visitor center and see if I can get a permit. That'd be awesome, because then I could do anything I want without anyone else being around, so let's hope I can get a permit. If not, it's definitely not the end of the world. There's a million rivers around here that I can just pull over and pan if I want to. And I want to. There's a fancy waterfall here. People are stopped. All right, well, I got some pretty good news. So Lamina Falls, I tried to get a permit. They said that even if I had a permit, it would do me no good. They're working on the trail and it's not accessible anyway. But the lady told me that there is another swimming hole slash river um, right up the street. We're gonna go check it out and then we're probably gonna dig for some gold there as well. So I'll see you over there. So right off of 988 here through El Junque Forest, there is a little stream here. I'm actually headed up this way. There's supposed to be that river and swimming holes and everything, but I could not pass this up. I don't know if you can see it, but right there is a big boulder and right below it is a little waterfall and possibly some gold. So I think we're gonna go check that out. Uh, I think that's gonna be the prospecting area for the day. All right, the first thing I wanna do is I wanna take my Equinox 800 down here and uh, I'm just gonna scan around See if we can locate any nuggets or anything. So this area looks pretty good. I think right here in the water, at the bottom of this waterfall behind this giant boulder, it's gonna be a good spot to look. So let's scan around with the Equinox 800. I'm just gonna run it in park two and see if we get any signals. Oh, that's nice. I'm used to getting into a stream and it's super cold. Out here in the rainforest, it's, it's quite nice. Now this is all bedrock, so I wanna scan over it with the metal detector. That'll tell me if there's any nuggets hiding in those crevices.
hey, we got a signal. Of course, Capri Sun. I'm actually up here behind the boulder now because water, when this place floods, I'm sure there's plenty of water here. You can see the erosion and everything. Check up into all these areas. We're gonna go ahead and put this in gold prospecting mode. Prospecting mode one. So we are getting a signal right here. So we're getting a signal, it's a one right here in this little, little crevice right here. So I don't know if it's visible on camera, but right at the tip of my finger, see if I could slow the water down. It looks like there's a gold nugget in there. Right there. I gotta get something to dig that out. Maybe my keys or something. I don't have any crevicing tools with me, but that's a perfect spot for a nugget to be hiding. I really hope that's a gold nugget. And I would not be surprised. Actually, I'd be super surprised. Let's let's try to dig that out with my keys. And that still looks like a gold nugget to me. I'm getting closer to it. I'm trying to dig it out with this key right here. I think I lost it actually. I'm gonna have to go ahead and metal detect again. I don't see it anymore. I'm gonna go ahead and swing the detector around here and down below where it may have went. Okay, so whatever it was is gone now. Let's check downstream. And that signal's down here now. I may need to grab my goggles for this. Right, I got my goggles, I got a uh, snuffer bottle, my Arbor Fabricating uh, quarter inch classifier. Uh, Garrett Super Sluice Gold Pan and two Home Depot buckets. My shovel's already down there. I'm also using the Mine Lab Equinox 800. I'm going to provide links for all this stuff in the description. If you guys are interested, of course, as always, there'll be equipment lists in the description. All right, so this little one, this little target here. Uh, it kind of disappeared. I checked all over the place and that little uh, tiny target disappeared. If it was anything, um, anything good, it was probably a very small gold nugget, which would have been awesome. I, that would have made my whole trip. However, uh, I did some more scouting around up the waterfall here. And I have my detector up there and I found a signal that's ringing up as a solid 13. Let's go check that out and see what that might be. So right here is a little puddle of still water below these bigger rocks. So I detect it around in here. And as you can see, got a real nice target in there. Let's see what it is. Still in there. All right, whatever it is, it's in my hand. Come on, gold nugget. Is this it? Well, that is a piece of silver ore. Awesome. You can see the little bits of metal in there. I got to get a better picture of that for you. Holy cow. That's the first piece of silver ore I've ever found. Wow, that is sweet. You can actually see the little silver bits in there. Hold on, I'll get my other camera. So there it is. You can clearly see the little bits of silver in there throughout the stone on both sides. That is probably one of the coolest things I've ever found metal detecting. 
it rang up like a solid 13 or 14, like a solid tone too. Wow, that is sweet. Got some silver. Man, now I want to just metal detect all over the place. But I still do want to do some panning uh, right in here. Maybe sample around up the stream a little bit, up above the waterfall where I found this thing. Uh, yeah, so far it's turning into a good trip. Throw that in there for safekeeping. I did have a vial. I know I brought one, but of course I don't know where it is now. So I'm just going to keep all my gold in my snuffer bottle for the trip. All right, let's continue on. There's a real nice signal, but guess what it is? Looks to me like we got a can in there. It also looks like it's been smashed by this giant boulder above it. Just to show you that the rainforest is always, always moving. And yeah, that can, who knows how long it's been there, but this boulder moved since it's been laying there. So we're not gonna be able to take that out of here with us. It's probably a Coors can anyway. Actually came upon a culvert pipe right here. It doesn't have the riffles in it. So I don't know if there'd be any gold in it, but if there is gonna be any gold, it would be right before it where that little drop off is. So let's metal detect down in there a bit. Oh. In a super high tone, but that's from inside the concrete, probably the rebar. There is a tone or two down in here. That signal's actually just more rebar that comes in from the, from the lip of the culvert there. All right, I think we're gonna go ahead and start panning for some gold up here. Crawfish. He's got a yellow tail. That's interesting, and a big claw. Just looking through the dirt and I found these little snail shells. I guess they're freshwater snails. Is this even freshwater? Yep, it's freshwater. All right, so no different than anywhere else. We have our two buckets, our classifier and a pan and a shovel. That's all you really need to, to do some gold prospecting. We're just gonna start shoveling some of this dirt out into the classifier. Once we get a bucket full of material, we'll go ahead and pan it out, see if we got any gold. It's always a good idea to get as deep as you possibly can. All right, so we got one bucket of classified material. It's actually only about a third full. There's not all that much material in here, but I did what I could. Here's my tailings pile. I'm gonna hit that with the metal detector before I leave and fill my hole back in. Uh, so yeah, let's, let's pan this out, see if there's anything in it. This Garrett Super Sluice gold pan is big enough that I can, I can pan out a quarter bucket in one pan. Make sure you get everything out of your bucket first. Get it in the pan and start panning it down. All right. Not much black sands or anything. All right, let's see what we got. I spun it around once, I did not see anything. All right, no gold in that first pan. I have a couple other ideas up in under this boulder, down here under this boulder. There's plenty of dirt to work with. We're right on bedrock too. Like I said, I don't have any crevicing tools or I'd be crevicing this stuff out. Oh, he sees me now. I see his little eyeball looking at me. So I'm digging under a boulder right now and I grabbed some moss as I was digging down. Uh, after I pan this out, that'll be a good indicator to tell me whether or not there's enough gold here to continue doing what I'm doing or to find a new spot. What the heck is this? Does that look like an old piece of pottery? Or is it just a piece of rock that happens to be the shape of broken pottery? Hmm. All right, we got a half a bucket from under a boulder. There's a lot of organic stuff, moss and stuff in here, but this will give us a good indication if there's enough plaster gold here to continue. See if we got anything here. So we're not finding any gold here. That's okay. We're gonna go ahead and do maybe one or two more. I'd like to get a flake of gold before we finish the video. All right, there's one more spot I wanna check and then we'll head out. There's a few big boulders here up off the side of the stream. We're gonna get all in under here. 
I'm just gonna get one bucket of this stuff and hopefully we could yank a little piece of gold out of there. All right, so I got one more bucket from under those rocks up there. And a lot of these rocks are covered in clay. I wanna make sure I clean them off really well before I throw them off to the side because the gold likes to lay on top of the clay. It can't actually go under the clay. So if there's uh, gold sitting on top of it, we wanna make sure we get that. See, there's a big hunk of clay right there. We'll bust that all apart. So I found another piece of that possibly old pottery. It's got some white, I don't know if it's old paint. Well, unfortunately, looks like we're not finding any gold at this spot. So there we go, first day of my trip to Puerto Rico. Well, first day out prospecting, I actually got here yesterday. Didn't find any gold, but we found an awesome silver ore nugget. That is awesome. I'm so happy I found that. That made my whole week if I don't find anything else. Uh, and of course, I mean, check this place out. So that's all I got for today. If you guys enjoyed the video, hit the thumbs up button. If you uh, would like to see more videos like this, hit the subscribe button. I put out a new video every three days with some type of new adventure or experiment. That's all I got for today. Thanks for watching.